Hey everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to Elvis Brad's channel. Okay, it's Elvis Brad today because normally it's Beetle Brad, but one of my viewers, Alan, hey Alan, how are you doing? Asked me, Brad, do you have some more Beatles you could show? Yeah, I got tons of Beatles, but he really wanted to see some more Elvis. So Alan, guess what? This video is for you, man. Okay, it's for everybody else. You guys can watch too, but Alan actually asked for it. <laughs> so we're going to do something kind of fun. I got my Elvis t-shirt on and uh, I got a bunch of different Elvis albums up here. I know you're probably looking more than you're watching me. You're looking at the albums. Um, this is actually Elvis Country, which is kind of a hard album to get on vinyl. Still in the original shrink wrap. Ooh. Elvis bootleg, which is a lot of un, uh, rare stuff like FTD stuff, and it does takes one and two and three and stuff like that. It's really cool. Still in the original plastic. This is a uh, special limited edition Elvis album. Uh, then moving over here, this is a Elvis concert album, but the New York one and Japanese pressing, which is fantastic sounding. Elvis today, which is the original pressing with the hype sticker. And this is um, Blue Hawaii, an alternate different take. This album I want you to pay attention to because we'll be talking about this album as well. This is the original press. Have I worn you out already? Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is a different shot of the Elvis one, which is this is a UK version. Uh, this is a, a, another uh, not a UK pressing. I can't think where this is from. Maybe Netherlands or something. I forgot right now. Uh, and then the next one down here is another Elvis bootleg, which has a lot of rare stuff and all that kind of. Then I don't know if you can see these down below, but this is another Elvis bootleg, uh, the 68. Comeback special and then another Elvis boot. So even though I'm doing my video, a lot of people will not look and they'll want to see what's behind me and they want to hear what it is and all that kind of stuff. So what do you say we get started? And we got some very, very cool stuff. Um, this is just titled from the EU. Um, so sorry about the plastic noise. I try and speak up. I, I hate that noise just as well, just as much as you guys do. Um, but this is from the EU. This is a terrific, terrific album. I highly recommend this Elvis one. This is a two-record set. Uh, this is still available. It's still out there. This is relatively new. Um, it's got okay pictures inside of Elvis. Not really anything terrific. This one on the front cover, um, I think, definitely sells the album. That, to me, is, is tremendous of him in the studio. And, yeah, like I said, it's a two-record set. So, what do you say we get the records? And they're actually very, very thick, very heavy. So, I mean, it doesn't say it's 180 gram, but I, I would almost speculate and think that this might be a 180 gram because the, the heaviness of this is great. Plus, they come in these poly um, inner sleeves. Couldn't think of it. Which is kind of ironic, you know, here I just got all the new Paul McCartney albums and they can't even give you those, but with the Elvis ones, they give you the uh, poly full uh, inner sleeves, which is great. <laughs> so I'll leave it to the Elvis people to do it right. But this is a terrific album. Also comes with a picture insert. This is Glenn Campbell and Elvis Presley together. Elvis with his big cigar. And some write-up stuff here. And then you flip it over and there's Elvis and Frank Sinatra in color. Great shot, too. This is just a little flyer that comes with the uh, record itself. Um, then I picked up a very nice copy of the Elvis. This is still a first press. Very nice. Um, which has the... the uh, picture which is flipped over like this yeah you have to flip it around and then it talks about the pictures down below here pictures inside so that's 
all of these. The jacket is in terrific shape and the record is just absolutely clean and clean and minty. I mean, it really is. I just, it's one of those to where, you know, you've got the album, but you see it again and you're like, yeah, I really want to get this. <laughs> so this, this was in, this was in beautiful shape. Look at that with the RCA dog. I, uh, I hope you noticed the RCA dog. I used the RCA dog for my thumbnail with my Elvis sunglasses and the red scarf. I just thought it was kind of fun and cute to uh, use the RCA dog on there. So, yeah, that's an original RCA dog from the 50s that, I, that I've got. Pretty cool. Um, and then this is a, another Elvis album from the Netherlands. Very nice, a two record set. Um, the jacket's kind of flimsy. The song listings, I won't go through all the songs, I apologize. Uh, there's too many songs, I just kind of read them off. So, you know, if you want, I'll let you pause on your own to um, kind of get the listings of that. But it's got a little bit of a glossy front cover as well. And when you open it up, it's got a very nice picture of uh, a lot of the albums, as you can see. Uh, then it comes, actually, with a really nice booklet. So if you're looking for this, make sure you come and you can find the, the booklet itself. But it's mostly all black and white pictures. But uh, to have the booklet with it is terrific. Like I said, it's from Netherlands. Very nice. Uh, like I said, the booklet's cool. And this is the first record. And it's, well, it's actually the fourth record, but who's keeping track? It says fourth and third, all right? I know. That's for those of you that are paying attention. <laughs> and I hope you are paying attention. Hope you haven't flipped, turned it off just yet. Side one, side two is upside down, but uh, you get the gist. But very nice, very clean. Uh, a lot of the songs we already know and love, but it's still uh, from Netherlands, a very nice copy. Um, and then I also picked up an original of this. I've been looking for this. This is actually kind of a tricky one to find for some reason. Um, the song's kind of interloop and all that kind of stuff. I, it's it's an okay album. A lot of people love this album, but me personally, I I thought it was my insert. I thought it was okay. It's an interesting kind of concept the way they put the songs all together. Here's the vinyl, which is in good shape as well. But then, this is the hard thing to get. This is the postcard that comes with it. And it's like an oversized postcard of Elvis's uh, child. Kind of in, yeah, it's in color. <laughs> Not kind of. And then another picture of him there on the back, which is in black and white, which I thought was kind of amusing that they put the old picture in color and then the other one in black and white. But, eh. They didn't ask me, which I'm surprised they didn't. <laughs> they didn't. So, but yeah, that, that's a great one to find with the original um, sticker as well. Well, not sticker, the postcard, excuse me. So this is, this is really cool. This is from the EU, and it's still in the original shrink wrap. This is an alternate shot of this album. So that's why I was telling you to kind of remember this album. Here we go, move out of the way. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is kind of an alternate shot, and I have played this, and this sounds fantastic. Um, I recommend this one, too. This is really cool. Uh, but the great thing about this album is, and you know Beetle Brad and Elvis Brad, what does he love to collect? Yes, you're right. Colored vinyl. And this is like in a transparent red vinyl. And it's so cool that it's red on both sides. <laughs> but it's nice. And it's, and it's a heavy weight on it as well. Um, you get a heavy insert as, as the uh, plastic is for it as well. 
Uh, so that's a good one to get. I, I like it. I love the alternate shot just because it's different. Um, I'm really a great sucker for Beatle albums and Elvis albums and stuff like that that are different pictures on the front. Um, and I think RCA and Capital, that are both those companies, I think they realized and they've watched my videos because uh, they know they keep pumping out albums with different covers. <laughs> Um, this is really cool. This is, I love this. This is still in the original shrink wrap. This is an Elvis album of outtakes and uh, different t uh, takes. It's all through here and here. It's still in the original plastic. I'll try and zoom in there for you so you can see that. There's the little nipper again. Um, that's kind of a cool picture. I have not seen that one before, but this is from Germany. So this is really nice. I like this. This has got, like I said, it's kind of like the FTDs. Um, has a lot of outtakes and different takes that I have not heard like the FTDs have. The FTDs have a bunch of outtakes on all of their album track listings and stuff, but not like this one. I haven't heard a lot of these before. Um, hang in there with me. I only got a couple more to go. I know I'm kind of going fast because uh, it's a bunch to show. And this is from the EU as well. Sorry about the glare. Trying to trying to straighten it out. There's there's the the record or the jacket. Excuse me, the picture of the jacket and all that. And like I said, this is from the EU. It's not really a 45, but it's a little bit larger than a 45. I've got several songs on it. That's really nice. Um, this is good. The sound quality, oh, it's not terrific, but it's 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 good recording. Um, you know, whoops, it sounded loud. You don't have to rush out to get it, but I do think it's a nice pressing. Um, and then there's this one from the 50th. And this one is also from the EU as well. And the cool thing I like about this is it's a top load. And there's your record on the RCA label there, which is a little different RCA one. Um, very nice. Like that. Uh, there's some alternate takes on here. If I can zoom in a little better. Yeah, some alternate takes on that. And finally, the last one, and I know, let's see if I can get this to set out. This is very neat, very rare. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Uh, not too many places, but this is really nice. And it's got all the albums on the back, a bunch of them, not all of them, excuse me. And it's still in the original shrink wrap. I just, I got that as well. And this is from the Netherlands. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Yeah, definitely. I like the RCA label on this. It's a little bit different than our American or the UK RCA label. Uh, but that's in perfect shape, plays really well. It's got great sound. Um, I was amazed that Netherlands would have that good of sound quality. I know you say, um, I'm really big on getting a lot of the European uh, pressings because when you watch my channel a lot of you know I'm not too fond of a lot of the American pressings even though I live in America I love America everything about America but we just can't press vinyl <laughs> I you know I strongly love Canada's pressings UK uh, Netherlands that one is just fantastic sound quality really like that but I want to say thank you to my viewers. You guys are fantastic. You really are. You make my channel uh, one of the best ones out there because a lot of you are watching and I appreciate that. And for my new viewers, welcome to my channel. I've got tons more stuff to come. A lot more Beatles. A lot more Elvis too, actually. Um, I kind of need to get back into my Elvis because i got a lot more to share with you. But uh, I do appreciate you guys being with me. You guys just aren't numbers in my uh, number category. You guys are definitely part of the Beetle Brad and Elvis Brad family. 
and you guys mean a lot to me and I love to hear you guys respond. Respond down below, let me know what you thought of this video and I do appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for being with me. I'm still feeling a little better. Uh, still having a lot of stomach pain problems, but that's just part of the healing process. Uh, taking a lot of medicine and crazy stuff like that. But anyway, well, I'm going to let you go for now because I've rambled way too long. And I appreciate you watching. And as I say in my videos, I'm out of here. Take care, everybody. Great to see you.